Hello everyone, today we are talking about Quant Q and T. Now ever since I got into this space, I've heard the saying, Bitcoin, BTC, is digital gold. Digital gold, a store of value. I've always questioned it, but let's just say it's true for today's video, whether you agree or disagree. So where does that put Q and T being named the next Bitcoin by some? Because we know that Quant itself has nearly half the supply of BTC and actually has utility. And we've talked about that in previous videos on the channel with a fixed supply. So it's got to be above gold in terms of the pecking order. Well, that's a question in November. Back in November, the answers we have here is digital finance, digital rhodium, platinum, digital oil, silver. I like platinum because platinum is 30 times more rare than gold. So we will now call quant digital platinum. I'm going to stick with that for today's video. Going forward, main news, recent news, mainly with CBDCs. A lot of value, stay around to the end of the video. Without further ado, here we go. Okay, so the first piece of information is very, very interesting. Pay attention. So, article here by the Digital Pound Foundation, it is official. The US is developing a bank-to-bank -bank digital currency. We know about this already, right? So while the world is watching the collapse of the crypto exchange FTX, on November the 4th, the New York Fed have been developing a wholesale CBDC designed to speed up transfers between banks around the world. Now here we have Chris. Chris said, let's not beat around the bush. It's Q and T, a fact, an F-A-C-T is a fact. He says down here, for legal reasons, do your own research. Nothing I say can be taken seriously because nine times out of 10, I'm chatting BS, but there's always that one time, right? But we know he either, I think it's previously worked for Quant Network. Now this is back in June, 2021. Barclays UK has been a journey. Now he's moving over to Quant Network as a social media and developer ecosystem manager. And so is that confirmed or for legal reasons it isn't? Very, very interesting. Let me know what you think down below. Also here we have Digital Euro on EU priorities list before 2024 elections. This is on December the 15th, two days ago. So we can read here. Uh, the European Commission promised to develop legislation for our digital euro soon, soon. A spokesperson confirmed that the Commission plans to put out a fourth uh, proposal in the second quarter of 2023. Further down, we can read here. So, as for the digital euro, the European Central Bank is currently working on a prototype with a selection of partners, including the contested Amazon. The design phase will wrap up in March 2023, followed by a decision on whether to implement a euro CBDC anticipated in October. We already know that ECB chooses Nexi for digital euro prototype and they rely on quant for interoperability. We talked about this in the previous video. Here we have another one. So quite recent in December. So the Bank of Canada plans 2023 CBDC consultation as it moves to development. Four days ago, December the 13th. So there's a few clues here. And this is not really a clue, but you know, in early 2020, the central bank stated a US CBDC might be a trigger for the Canadian digital dollar. US CBDC, not too far of a jump we have here. Also, meanwhile, the MIT Media Lab Digital Currency Initiative is working with the Bank of Canada as part of its research work. The DSI is also working with the Federal Reserve, Bank of Boston on Project Hamilton and the Bank of England, MIT. We already know that they have a paper here. MIT, Connection Science with Quant implementing a CBDC. The solution being Quant. And this is a game we're trying to play here. What CBDCs are involved with Quant? We know for a fact as well when it comes to connecting outside of a CBDC network, when it comes to CBDCs wanting to connect to other applications, Quant will be involved in those processes. So nonetheless, if they're not involved, it is still positive nonetheless for Quant itself. Also, another article here, so many articles. The Bank of England puts £200,000 on the table for a sample CBDC wallet. He wants here a handsome reward for any third party able to provide a proof of concept for a central bank digital currency sample wallet. And we can see words down here from the man himself, Gilbert Verdi. There's a part I want to read here. So meanwhile, with Project Rosalind, the BIS Innovation Hub London and the Bank of England are looking to the future, testing how to issue, embed and settle CBDCs for retail payments use cases with industry participants. We can also see here, Basel Committee endorses global banking rules to be implemented by 2025 that encourage a 2% limit on crypto exposure. Realize how huge this is. They want you to believe crypto is dead. Watch what they do, don't listen to what they say. So right now that's a limit on 
trillion dollars. If all banks followed this exact initiative, it'd be around 180 trillion dollars. This gives you a vision of what crypto can be like in the future in terms of actual market approaching these high trillion dollar sort of values. That's obviously every uh, bank in the world follow this initiative, but more will do. More will. We also have here for crypto here stay, fidelity, crypto decoded, fidelity crypto. So get in on early access list to trade Bitcoin and Ethereum. Start with names that you know. Invest with a name you can trust. Plus, get education. It takes the cold talk out of crypto. Get on the list to trade these assets with fidelity. Crypto is here to stay. And lastly, a video of Gilbert Verdian. That is pretty much it for today's video. Quite a short one, to be quite honest. But I really want to make a video and post this information out here. Uh, this information, you know, confirmed, so not confirmed with the US uh, bank to ban digital currency. Very, very interesting. So, so far today, we talked about uh, Quant being digital platinum beyond digital gold, more valuable than BTC. We talked about um, pretty much confirmed or not confirmed with US uh, bank to ban digital currency. Uh, we talked about the uh, digital euro here and um, Quant's involvement. A bit of a stretch towards the Bank of Canada, applying their CBDC, but possible. But we know Quant is involved outside of CBDCs and here with the Bank of England and um, £200,000 uh, CBDC wallet. I will leave this article down below. I didn't go over it too much or enough. I will leave it down below for you guys to check out further on that. The call for the sample wallet and then why crypto is here to stay. So that's pretty much it for today's video. But you may just find the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like down below and I will definitely see you guys in the next one. To enable blockchain to, to be massively adopted for all their clients. And we're, we're doing some innovative work together. It's, it's a world first where we're able to interconnect uh, different blockchain networks with payment systems and do work with the central bank at the same time. And this is quite innovative because it's payment and settlement using a new technology on blockchain and it's all possible with our operating system called Overledger. But CBDC DLT networks can be interlinked and not just with each other all over the world, but also with existing payment systems. Blockchain networks and the whole blockchain world to existing networks through, through the Overledger. And not just with each other all over the world, but also with existing payment systems. Overledger is an operating system. It's an overlay. It sits on top of blockchain and existing networks. And not just with each other all over the world, but also with existing payment systems. Um, it's interoperable. We've, we can connect any to any in terms of existing networks, blockchain networks, different technologies. But also with existing payment systems. We connect existing systems. So with existing payment systems. So for the first time, you've got choice to use a single blockchain through Overledger, but then have the benefit of all the other blockchains. We connect existing systems. And, and that's quite important. A, a lot of people talk about we need to decentralize the world and we need to change everything. We don't agree. We, you don't need to decentralize everything because there's mature technologies, there's mature networks that have been there for years and years and they operate. We cannot turn those off. They need to operate and the world needs them to run. So we're saying let's leverage. Let's leverage those technologies and we can actually interconnect what already exists, which makes sense. We're, we're shaping the, the system.